Cardell K350. Uh, and we're going to do a steering lock on this one today. I don't have a video where I remove the trim on this one. Different than the CLK class. It's got this wood trim here. Uh, this comes off. This center piece here comes off. This little center piece of wood here. And then this other piece on the left side comes off. Pretty easy. I think this is a 2012, 2012 GLK. And we're going to get this on video today so that we have a video to show you guys how to do this on your GLKs. Okay. So I'm going to leave the key in there. Right now it's in the unlock position. It makes the job easier. You don't have to remove the whole column to get the steering lock out. First thing I'm going to do so that I can remove the key from the ignition switch is go to the lock itself. This gentleman, this client already has the kick panel off. He had a mechanic working on this thing. The mechanic decided not for me. I don't want to do this job. Take it to somebody else. So Jim here found me on the internet, YouTube, and called me up. He's local to Whittier, California. Brought it down this morning, and we're going to get it done for him. I'm going to stick my hand up through here, reach up to the steering lock, and disconnect the electric connector, and it's going to come out on the left side of the column, right over here on this side. Okay, so I'm going to stick my hand up there. I'm going to move this plastic to the side a bit. Stick my hand up here. Look for the lock. I've already found it. I found the connector and the lock is disconnected. Just that simple. I haven't disconnected anything. Only the kick panel is off. Here is that connector that I just disconnected. Okay. Okay, now that it's disconnected, the electric steering lock, I'm going to remove the key. Uh, before you can take this off, you need to remove this ring. Okay, here's our tool. Okay, that's off. This little cover here, we're taking this off. So I'm just prying this at the bottom here. Just slowly prying it away, being gentle. And that's it, really. Once you've got it this far, you can probably just grab it with your hand. And one on this side here. So and there's one piece of trim. Next piece is just this, uh, the left side. You do the left side next because uh, you don't do this side because it's covered by the two sides. So we got to get this side off next. I'm just going to get underneath it here and just pry up. You get into the side here. And up top here, just using my fingers here, it comes right off. In the center piece and this also you're just going to pull off pulls right off there's one on each side okay okay now it looks like it's coming all the way out okay there we go trim is out and here's our EIS looks like we have access to it without even removing the steering wheel, which is nice. Okay, so I have a T27. Okay, and now just turn the wrench, turn the bit. We're loosening up the airbag. You can see it separating here. Once we're all the way loose, we can do the other side. Okay, now the airbag will come off. And we just need to disconnect these two connectors. The yellow ones are airbag connectors. Okay, the connectors, there's two tabs, one on the bottom, one on the top. You gotta get them both. So I just apply tension and get them one at a time. Once one of them has come out, I apply tension to this and it doesn't go back up. If you're applying tension, then you get the other one. And, and remember, if you don't have a scanner, disconnect the main battery before you take off this yellow connector. There's my impact wrench. And we're off. Now before you take the steering wheel off, notice that there are markers. It's just a sharpie marked where the steering wheel should be removed. Okay, so this just pops off. 
and then it's the steering column next, steering column module. Let's get this off. Pretty easy, slides right off. Okay, so there's our steering column module hanging down. To remove this, you're just going to remove that little black clip there. Just take my little pick. And then there's a little tab there. See that tab? Okay, so you can see that with the GLK, it doesn't really help. Doesn't really help to take off the uh, the steering column. Not as far as getting the ignition switch out. You can get the ignition switch out without taking the steering wheel off. Uh, but in order to get to the screws for the steering column, the two top screws, this guy here and this guy over here, you do have to remove the steering column module. Okay, I like to loosen it up with a. Uh, open open wrench a ratcheting open wrench is useful here or if you have a ratchet an auto ratchet like I've got it's even easier okay so the ignition switch it's through here right once you get those two electrical connectors off and the uh, the shift connector the shift cable you can pull the switch right out there's your switch okay if you're sending an ignition switch in uh, with your key fob for an emulator, all we need are these two parts here. All we need are these two parts. We don't need anything else. We don't need the lock. Don't send the lock. We don't need it. We have no use for it. You're not going to use it anymore. You do need to get it out of your column if it's in the locked position. You can leave it in if it's working and in the unlocked position. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is drop the column a bit to get the lock out. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the column. I'm gonna take these two bolts out from down here. These are super easy, I'm not gonna show you that one. There's two bolts down here. There's one right next to the teal connector on that side. The other one's on the opposite side. Those are very easy to get out. I'm gonna show you the hard one, okay? There's only one hard one on this side here. And I mean, you may not think it's hard, but some people find it difficult to get this bolt out. It's the top right side bolt, and that's the one I'm gonna show you. So for this one, I like to use a uh, open ratchet, okay, like this one here. There's our bolt. We jump in here with our ratchet. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that's pretty loose already. I'm gonna get this one started as well. Once you've got pretty loose, the automatic ratchet can handle the rest. So for this one on this side, this is the hard side, right? There's not enough room to get your ratchet in there. But I'm going to use a universal joint setup to get it off. Okay, so that's what my setup looks like. Uh, I got a 9 inch with a universal joint attached. And that's enough. And now the bottom ones. I'm going to zip those off real quick. All right, so I zipped those out. These two long screws here. Those are the bottom screws. Very easy to get. I just use an impact. Get some of these tools out of the way because I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to get the steering lock out. So uh, the, the steering lock. Here's, I have a sample one here. This is one that I got out already. Uh, this is a steering lock. It's sitting in the column like this. It's sitting in the column like this backwards, okay? So you've got to get your hand around it from the right side like this and get your little a small quarter inch ratchet. Mine has a swivel head. That's probably best for this job. I got a three inch extension and a 13 millimeter for the bolt that's on this thing. So you're just gonna wrap around this thing like this, feel around for the bolt. You can see the bolt here, right? That's a 13 mil and just loosen it up. Once you get it loose, you can do it by hand and depress the bolt and pull it up and out. 
That's what I do right now. Okay, there it is. That's the original. That's the sample one that I brought out to show you guys. They look exactly the same. And we are about done with this one. So fasten in the steering column, put everything back together, program the emulator, plug it in, test start it, and this is a job done. All right, so I got the emulator programmed. Here it is, here's my little emulator, it's programmed. So I'm just gonna reinstall this EIS next. All right, so I finally got the ignition switch back in with the GLK. I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit of a struggle to get the uh, floor shifter connector back in there. It is connected, I got both electrical connectors in there. I got the floor shifter connector cable back in there. That's it, I'm just gonna start putting the trim back on, put the steering column module back on. Basically put everything back in the order that I took it off. Next, I'm just gonna put the uh, steering column uh, module back on that's this guy here all right the connectors back in now i'm just going to put the steering column back all right so the steering column module goes on first and the trim the trim around it goes on next okay there's a trim on. See the little metal clamps here? There's two of them, one on this side, one on the other side. They're going in first. And you can see there's a little piece of plastic here that matches up with the plastic right here. You match all those up together, that's the easiest way to get this done. So I'm just gonna push this side in, this left side. Okay, and I'm just gonna Push this side in here, starting on this side of the trim. Okay. And this side. Push this side in next. There you go. Okay, the trim is installed. Next, we can put the other pieces of trim in. These guys here. Let's, uh, let's install our dimmer dial. There you go. Gotta start with the middle piece first. This uh, this middle middle piece here, right in there, and just go one side, the other side. Okay. Now the left side is next. Four metal clips. We're gonna make sure those all line up. Make sure the dial comes through. Okay. And then we're just gonna press these metal clips in. This one has this little guy up here. So it's got you gotta kinda angle it in like this. So it goes in there. I have trouble with that part sometimes. You get your clips in, line them up. And it's just pressing them in. Tight. There we go. Now we can put our little ring back on. Now we're going to put our steering wheel back on. Make sure that you line up the little sharpies. You can see right there, that's the top one. There's one on the bottom too. Line those up with your sharpie marks. Okay. There you go. Lined up. Let's put our bolt back in. We'll start it by hand. Finish it off with the impact. Next is the airbag. Put the clips back in. You know, yellow's on the right side and maroon on the left. Red or brown or purple, whatever you want to call that. Connector color. See, it looks like the Germans didn't know what to call it either. Look, see they put yellow on this side and on this side. Yeah, they didn't put the color on that side, did they? Steering wheel is back on. Tighten the bolts in the back. Here's our teal connector. Gonna hook this up to the emulator. 
Okay, we're plugged in all the way, seated. And let's take our zip tie. Take our little zip tie. And we're just gonna move this up out of the way of moving parts. Really, it's probably okay just hang in there, but we don't want it making any noises. Zip tied out of the way. Okay, we've got the kick panel back on and we are ready to go. Let's just put the key in the ignition switch. Emulator sounds, dash lights. And we're up and running. Now we've got the uh, SRS malfunction. We're gonna take that off. There's our SRS light. Clear full of memory. Yes. And it's gone. And we're done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.